Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 1. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Wherefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. That's it. Number three. But when thou doest arms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine arms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, verse 5, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. That's it. Okay, verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, Enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Mm. <laughs> Here's another one, verse 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetition, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Mm, mm, mm. You know what? We don't realize how we do this. One thing I hate when people ask, you know, you're at a church and everybody's going to go on a corporate fast. Number one, it's nobody's business whether you participate or not. Now, when it says, take heed that you do not your arms before men, that's giving. You give money. Now, I'm going to start there. Woo, this one gets all up under my skin. You're sitting in the church. The pastor has everybody march up to the plate. And they are to place their offering in the plate. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the trip. This is what really gets me. When the pastor or the minister, preacher, evangelist, whoever is in control of that offering, and they're standing up there saying, we're doing a special offering today. This is the building fund or this is so-and-so, whatever it is. And they say, I, I want to see uh, five people stand up and give me five hundred dollars stand up and give me a thousand dollars all of those who stand up and give a thousand dollars you come forward and the pastor's gonna shake your hand whoop de doo I don't need that man or woman to shake my hand I shake my own dog on hand uh, it's an ego thing and they know it feeds into pride so they manipulate through people's pride and they encourage them to stand up and wave their little thousand dollar check so that they can get acknowledgement from man. That's right. See what I did? I gave my thousand dollars. Did y'all see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Because I'm one of the elite. I give like that. I'm a, I'm a giver. I'm a giver. And you tell your friend, I'm a giver. I have a giving spirit. I love to give. Oh, I, ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I'm happy for you. But you have just lost your reward. Tooting your own horn. Breaking your arm. Trying to pat yourself on the back. Pride. All right. Now. That's why he says, do not sound a trumpet before thee. 
as the hypocrites do in the synagogues. When you sound your own horn, you toot your own horn, that is all the rewards you get. You have no idea what you have just forfeited from God by making a public announcement. Now, this is, this is for those of you who like giving big, this is the best way to do it. If Jesus tells you, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, you don't have to write anything on the envelope. Your name doesn't even have to be there. If you want tax credit, it'll come through the check. And if you want tax credit and you have to put your name on the envelope or you have to write a check, it might be better not to put your name on the envelope and whatever little tax credit you could have gotten, God could whip that around and multiply it in spades just because you chose not to sound the trumpet and draw attention to yourself by how much you gave. Now, if they have everybody stand up and they say, everybody that has a thousand dollars come forward and then 500 and then 200, 100, and then they tell everybody, okay, we're just going to pass the plate for everybody else for the $1 bills, the $5 bills, and the 10s, so on. That's when you put your $1,000 check in there or your $1,000 bill. That's when you put it in the bucket when ain't nobody looking anymore. You sit there with the general population and you slide your little thing in there if you're doing it as unto God. And you haven't gotten acknowledgement from man. But my goodness, you got God's attention. Whose attention would you rather have? Or, yeah. So watch how you do that. Watch your motive. Okay, here's another one. When you pray. You know how some people, and Lord, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Just pray the prayer, say what you want, and sit your butt down. You can put on your performance at home if you need to feel like you got to perform. But what God is saying is don't put on a show, don't perform. Say what you got to say. Mean what you say. When you're done, sit down and be quiet. Repeating yourself over and over. Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary. Hail. That ain't going to get nothing done. Talk to him. He's not an idiot. He knows how to hold a normal conversation. He understands everyday English. Okay. You get me? I think you get me. I'm done on that. God bless you as you do your alms and your prayers in secret so that he can reward you openly.